Hello, subjects, thieves, spies, and maybe even a few Firesworn devotees. This is Today in Gwent. This week, there have been a few big news uh, pieces of news that have happened. We'll go first right into the biggest thing that we're all seeing every day in the game is Gaunter's Ultimate Challenge Stage 4. Looks like already Northern Realms has taken a decisive lead with Nilfgaard falling right behind and Syndicate in the clear back. Uh, I did not do Syndicate last week, so I am doing them before they drop off. Remember to always check the rotating calendar. If you care about getting that specific title, you need to make sure to play each of the factions before they're gone forever. Uh, and there are only two more weeks left, so make sure you're on top of that one. So, But the new ad uh, that we have not seen yet is Northern Realms. And I'll leave a link up above. I just posted a deck today. That is All Out Charge version 2.0. It is probably my favorite deck I have ever played with in Gwent. Uh, it's a total riot, and it will bring me to our last piece of news uh, at the end of this video. But this is the biggest thing that's happening in Gwent this week. The other thing I wanted to cover uh, at last Sunday uh, was the TLG Invitational Finals. We had Unforgiven and Busher go for a crazy showdown with Unforgiven coming in first place. Congrats and great work. Uh, Busher obvi obviously played a fantastic game, uh, but Unforgiven just had uh, <laughs> the prior experience of already having beaten Busher earlier in the tournament, uh, but also having the the benefit of being the winner of the winner's bracket and uh, and only having to beat Busher out once. Uh, Sumo also did a great job coming in third. So uh, many, many thanks to everybody who hosted that and to Team TLG. Uh, Team Leviathan Gaming did a great job hosting. I thought it was a total riot. It was good to see so many different games with so many casters giving such great commentary. So thank you, thank you. Uh, Gwent needs more of this, not less, I think. Uh, this is one of the mo uh, most fun parts of this game. Um, there is this comment about Skellige, and we are going to get to that very last. But before we do, I just want to cover a major item that was posted by Pavel, the community manager on the Gwent forum. They are making changes to auto milling. Now, do I think that's because I commented on it last video? I don't know, but I'm definitely going to take it. Uh, this is a much needed change in my opinion. Uh, it looks like they're going to basically break this into three options. One of those options, premium focused, is what appears to be the current working of the system. That is not the recommended. Uh, so I do like that it's no longer the recommended or even the default. Looks like standard will be the default. Uh, and then finally, my suggestion is to go for resource focused. I don't know any reason why you want to keep uh, the non-animated versions of cards. If you do, I mean, go for it. But unless you are swimming in, uh, in currency in this game and in the ability to make every single card I think resource focused is what I would recommend for most players. That's exactly what I asked for in my video last week. And it is uh, basically super annoying to do, but worth the very most card shards, which is going to allow you to make all of those cards that you may be missing. Now I've played this game for nearly a year now uh, with a lot of time spent in the game. And you can at any point, just come right in here. You go up to your profile and you can see your progress on the right hand side of how many of each of the cards you have. And as you can see, I'm still missing nearly 60 neutrals, uh, 14 Syndicate, 10 Skellige, 4 Scoia'tael, 8 Northern Realms, 13 Nilfgaard, and 18 Monster cards. So missing a lot of them. Um, and I, I am very much looking forward to this change. I think it, it is very welcome. Now, to my last piece of news. There have been a lot of people out there complaining about what uh, the, the most recent meta report indicates around a 58% win rate for Skellige. I get it. Skellige can be really annoying, but stop playing into their hands, all right? Please check out my newest All Out Charge version 2.0 deck. I think it is a perfect illustration of the changes we should be making to our decks to deal with the current meta. I no longer fear Skellige. I look forward to a Skellige matchup with this deck. I think that Skellige is a one-trick pony, in my opinion, especially when it comes to going up against Northern Realms. Uh, they just don't have the ability to, uh, to pair well against 
broad uses of units uh, that are broadly uh, that are uh, that are very broadly boosted, right? If you have one single boosted unit, which like Joachim feeds into, is one good example from Nilfgaard, then that allows more Far Card of Terror to get a bunch of points off of your side and added to their great sword. Um, also, use some banish cards. Uh, but I'm not gonna go too far into this. Check out that other video. See what some of those strategies are and no longer fear those raiders Be excited when you see them um, But let's not nerf Skellige into the ground. I think uh, we should take a little bit of time pause Reflect stop whining calculate and enjoy the Gwent that we always do from a very tactical standpoint But thank you guys for joining me this week. This has been another week of Gwent today and I will see you next Sunday, but until then, keep on quitting.